Welcome! I'd like to welcome one and welcome all to Dungeons and Dreadmore, where today we're going to look at some mods! Because, if you know, if you play the game, you might notice that there's a workshop option. This is because you can upload mods! And considering the game's simplicity, it's not that hard to make mods. I can't make mods, but who am I? So today we're testing Crafting Guru, by Dark User 12 Hmm. Very broken one, to be honest. Um, it's my volume. Yeah, my volume's okay. Um, then we got primary stats training by H4, which allows you to train your primary stats, which is apparently useful. Then we got forced face by w YSR Grim. Hmm. Adds forced face for you. Ooh, sounds fancy, doesn't it? Graduated Egg Guardian. Wow, that, that that weird slime thing. Made by Fausto Machines. And then Electromancy by Madeth Ravenlock. Ooh. Well, that sounds fancy and all, but what's it like? Let's turn on grind mode and make this nice and easy on ourselves. And here they are. And as you can see, the, this one just gives you random stats. These, these all give you three stat points per level up and are attributed to whatever they're part of. We've got this. Ah, sit everywhere indeed. There's a lot of wizardry in there, so let's go with one of those. That being said, you could do so some burliness, and... With a little bit of luck, this is survivable! Test. Testing them. Ah, shit. Well then, just test man. Go forth, test man, and test many things. Test these mods of modulus. Ooh, eight skill levels. I didn't know you could do that. As you can see, these all give you burliness by three and sagacity by three. We got some very interesting looking sprites. Ooh, it all seems to... Ooh. Let's see what we're dealing with. Um, okay, that's a little bit overpowered in my opinion, but that's what they said. This was going to be overpowered. Let's see, with Dilton Norberg, you're mold-based crafting. You officially received your ticket off as journeyman craftsman. And learn how to convert gems along the way. Ooh, fancy. Prism as blood and sweat has left its mark on you, and you can already see your projects which crafts and traps and can make picks now. Ooh. Crafting guru. You full confidence and brag a lot. About. Since you can craft almost everything. Wow. You are the one guru, and you can craft everything, and the gods even acknowledge your skills. You have loads enchanting and thus randomized artifacts. Ooh. Well, this doesn't seem to have any sort of interesting things, it's just that. Okay, let's look at these ones. Ooh, these look very fascinating. Ooh. Cleansing nature! You were forced to eject toxins from body. Ooh. Got some uh, toxic damage resistance there. Swamp gas is quite disgusting, but you're rather into it. Hopefully no one's around. Ooh. Shape shifter, you can magic change to shoot your environment. Nifty. Ooh, no magic required. Chill blast. Some powers of the wind to chill your own bone. And vine. Sometimes these sort of things don't show up in the manner I would expect. Nature's wrath. At least the wrath of nature is a great blow. Ooh. Affects me better than a mode. Pure nature. You're not one with nature. You can even become more than more. Uh, that's a lot of haywire chance. That's kind of dangerous when dealing with traps. But, ooh, with years of mining cubes, you could finally turn into one of them. A living nasty cube with devours corpses. Gross, but effective. That doesn't look very good, but I get. I really hope that's not real because that's not positive. Oh, that's even less positive. We could hit this chance your bullet would hit your enemy. Also, you may drop acid on an enemy while attacking. Lovely. You mine a mine of us. Ooh. Midnight snack. You're very hungry. Nothing stop you from your cynical. Ooh. We we'll attack the enemy with your nasty tentacle. Giant ball of spit. Ball of acidic spit. Well, you're not turning around at all, are you? You reach the point of no return! Body and fluids finally belong to the Okay, I got Ooh. That's cool. Shocking grasp! A child with a sticking forks into electrical sockets has left your body permanently charged with electricity which conducts through your melee attacks. Ooh. For the cute, you've learned to master an innate electrical current to the full levels to make you dangerous to touch. Unfortunately, you also make you less. Wow. You can use your latent electrical charge in a more purposeful coin shaped matter, just like a certain emperor. Mace Windu Salt Mace of Windu Salt separately. Ah, I get it. 
Path of Least Resistance. Ooh, I like those buffs. You'll become one with electricity coursing through your veins. Your Voltiac resistance and damage bonus increase. Ooh, instant teleportation. Lightning mode. You can now throw bolts of lightning that pierce through multiple lines of enemies in line, which deal 10d6 Voltic damage if this were Dungeon Dragons. Thankfully, it does not, because we have... We'd have to reflex save for all the poor diggles you're going to be frying this thing. Uh, you mastered the internal electrical currents, but that was enough for me. Now the skies themselves bend you will, raining down thunder and lighting up all the holes in your wide area. Exactly how you conceive the skies down in the dungeon is is a matter of scholar debate. I guess these are very practical if you have issues with a particular class, like um, fluffing up warriors is kind of stupid because there are not a lot of warrior things that tend to really do anything. So you can just pick one of these. These, th these seem very useful for fluffing up skills. And because they are 8, you're going to get a lot. And I think that they're actually attributed... Yeah, they are attributed to their corresponding locations. Ah, I've got all the crafting goodness. Hmm. Well, let's give these skills a try, shall we? Let's, let's try this form. Ugh! I look repugnant. Ugh! Look at those nasty buffs. <laughs> Look at me! Wow, I leveled up instantaneously. That's kind of cool. What's the only way I want? I want that Voltic Shield and see what that does. Oh, that just makes me lightning resistant. Well, this is cool! <laughs> Whee! Whoosh! Whoosh! Oh ha ha! Whee! That shield is awesome. It, sh it paralyzes him as well. Whee! Property of Sneezy. High desirable dinner guest. Ooh, highly desirable dinner guest. Wizardly deeds. Done. Rates reasonable. Hmm. Ah, I get it. He's like a party guest. Or he is the party. Ah! To the it. What? To the east. The set to the north. Oh fuck, I can't make it out. It's something about a forest. It, uh, that foreboding scribble's extra foreboding because I can actually make out what it's partially saying. Well, that was a fun little skill. Let's try this one. Woo, that zapped him. Look how much that zapped him. Okay, let's try this one. Ooh, that's cool. I like these uh, classes. They're pretty good. They're efficient. I don't know if they're overpowered yet. Let's equip this spear. Um, in place of this weapon. Why did I get a hefty... Oh, yeah, because I'm a wizard. You are a wizard, Harry! I. Ah, it's inconsequential. I have to say, these skills are pretty good so far. Um, I think I might... No, I can't. I can't put the links in the description, because guess what? Steam won't let me. I need to get all the way around. But I'll... Uh, if you got the game, you could just go to Workshop. I'll give you the names of the people that made this. I'll give you the titles of them. As found in the actual, uh, you know, thing... Of as found in the actual... Let's try this one. This, this, this is the last one I'll put in this one just so I can get a... Ooh, that's a pretty cool cone, if I may say so myself. We're getting pretty lucky on the level design. I have to say I agree with this one. It's nice and efficient, and as I said, this is merely a test to see what the hell's going on. I like these skills. Uh, I have to say electric is... Mm. Uh, I am disagreeing a bit bit with the power of this particular skill set. The um, electric seems a bit overpowered. Uh, it might just be what it's supposed to do. I mean, maybe there's enemies that are very good against electric. No, no, no. The robots are weak against electric. So it can't... I don't know. I guess magic is somewhat of... I don't know. I mean... Can I look this up? The, 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 does the Direct Morpedia offer any... I don't know. It could be an analytical property. That would be nice if it was an analytical... Uh, Dictionary. Uh, 
Please pay attention. Ah, oh, shit. I knew that one was there, but I still stepped on it. I have to say, I am agreeing with what the game's offering me so far. It's really making this an easy test run. Please just die. Yeah, that's a tad... I don't know what the odds are, but that is a bit too high. You might want to rebalance that, because wizards tend to be very fragile. I'm not having any issue kicking people's asses. That's not even that difficult. I don't know why they say that, but whatever. I like this little cone of electricity. I like this. It's just really varied. Uh, so far, this skill set uh, that I've put in really works. Yeah, there's the drawback. Go. Majesty. Hmm. Can't make anything out of that. What I could like right now is something in the form of an equipment set. Like a hat. Oh, that savvy is really doing it for me, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, mods. No, no, it just has a... Uh... Too bad, too bad. I was hoping I could select them from my thing and then just analyze it, but nope. I'm liking it so far, though. It's, uh, nice and clean. Oh, shocking. Uh-oh, there's Diggle. But I have no booze. Well, I have a little bit of booze. I am probably going to keep this uh, cheat skill that gives me all the crafting because I like crafting. Swamp gas or... Hmm. I'm definitely keeping this with me. It's a rogue skill and I love it. Because I love crafting, but I don't want a specific... It's cheating, so I'll probably limit it to a few characters. This one has a place in my heart. Because it fixes the problem that I have with crafting. Okay, which one should I pick? I really... I'll try this one. Let's... Let's try this one. Ooh, nice area of effect. It's not too strong, not too shabby. I approve this message. Ha! You just breathed my swamp gas! Yeah, let's try some of this, and then some of this, and then wait, and then boom! You s I don't smell like Diggle P. You smell like Diggle P, you Diggle Peer, you Montepie! What the fuck did I just say? Swarm! Yeah. Ugh. I might as well slurp down a sewer brew. I'm not used to the ability of actually being able to craft things, so... Let's see what we can craft, anyway, with the skill and equipment that we have. Oh, we can make some Diggle Nog. Might as well. I am enjoying this. I am really enjoying this skill set. Because it's such a gamble with picking a crafting skill. I guess that fits the whole system of being, you know, all about roguelike-ish, but... The gamble of a skill set of being able to craft is that if you don't find the materials, you just can't do anything. So having everything accessible really does pull away. Now would you look at that? I'm lucky because I got the special effect! 
<laughs> this has a 50% chance of occurring whenever you drink a Driggle Mog. As you can see, it's pretty cute. Oh, I'm so adorable! Oh, look at this little guy. Wee! Look at him, look at him. Wee! With a little nosy. Oh, now I'm normal again. I was enjoying my diggliness. Ugh. Slimy cretin. You've obviously not, not tasted my swamp gas yet. It's a, actually, it's a tad overpowered. I guess the mana does somewhat compensate for it for now, but it might get a little too powerful later on. I'm not too good at judging what's too powerful and what isn't. I'm not that experienced. I'm gonna eat fajitas tonight. Yeah, that shield is definitely way too powerful, but I still like it. 